Hey, what's up, guys? I'm meteorologist Doug Hetty. All right, figured I would give you guys a quick update on showers, thunderstorms increasing. It's Friday night. I hope you had a great Friday. And then, of course, um, heading into the weekend. So uh, the first half, eh, a little bit on the wet side. Second half looks pretty good. So if you want to do outdoor activities, you want to do it on Sunday, not really tomorrow. Uh, most of these storms are going to be just good old storms, good old spring storms, and uh, they're going to flare up a little bit late tonight, and then our southern counties will flare up a little bit. So we'll take a little tour here, and then I'll explain to you what I am expecting to happen. Alrighty. Okay, let's go through it. Let's take a look. Um, so here's my plan. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do this video now, I'm going to knock out a blog, then I'm going to go home, and if I need to, I'll do a little bit of streaming just to kind of let you guys know what is going to happen tonight, especially if you live in our southern counties. Alright, thunderstorms have flared up over the past couple hours. Most of us are north of the front. If you live north of I-44, yeah, we're going to have some pretty good springtime thunderstorms, some heavy amounts of rain, a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning, a little bit of a loud night at times but we do still have kind of a severe threat south of interstate 44 um doesn't mean one of these storms north of i-44 couldn't flare up and become low grade severe but we're not going to see much severe weather these are mainly just good old storms but we're going to track them anyways all right so let's stop now we'll start at the severe thunderstorm warning so we're going to go down into delaware county so this is grove grand lake you can see this thunderstorm morning until 1145. So this is southern Delaware County. This is going to push up into Benton County or will eventually get into McDonald County. Threats with this storm, we're picking up winds right around 60 miles per hour. Let me see if there's any hail in here. Um, a little bit of hail. Nothing too big. So it's probably quarter size hail. So nothing too big. All right, let's see where this guy is going to go. Let me see its motion here real quick. So it's moving due northeast at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. So let's go. I do not like how that turned out. Hang on. Hope you guys are having a good night. Let's see. All right, Gentry, 1101, Grabbit, 1107, Mason Valley, 1111, Pineville, 1113, Bittenville, 1120, Rogers, 1123, Bridgewater, 1130, Wheaton, Missouri, at 1135. So this is going to continue to increase, and most likely what's going to happen here is these guys in McDonald County, this guy in Eastern Newton County will kind of flare up, and those may eventually kind of add on to this little severe weather complex so severe weather best chances for us tonight i will draw for you is going to kind of be kind of monette east of neosho pineville and then kind of right back through here so that's the best area for severe weather tonight doesn't mean we can't have a severe thunderstorm north of that it's just most likely those are just going to be pretty good little thunderstorms if you've stepped outside if you live Joplin North, it's gotten kind of chilly across the region. So we'll watch these. Let's go a little bit farther north. These guys flared up a little guy north of Columbus, Pittsburgh. Pretty decent storm over Nevada, up toward Pleasanton, Rich Hill, Butler. Uh, let's see, uh, north of Stockton Lake. So all these guys, are, it's just like a little bit of popcorn. You see, let me backtrack here just a little bit. So these guys have just recently popped up. Yates Center, Iola, Chanute, Fredonia back toward uh, Chautauqua County and then also Elk County. So these are going to continue to just kind of flare up as we go through the next couple hours. Let's go into the future here. All right. So let's track till 1230 in the morning. So those storms, the ones that we are seeing, some severe thunderstorms, have uh, blossomed. So again, southern Delaware County, Benton County. So Rogers, Bentonville, Bella Vista, Springdale, all those areas, southern parts of McDonald County, uh, Cassville, Eagle Rock, and then stretching south of Springfield. So all some pretty good storms, could get some severe thunderstorms. 
everybody else it's just these popcorn little storms so here's 230 hit and miss storms kind of flare up again late tonight four five six o'clock in the morning and again our southern counties they may be a little bit more potent i think most of us just good old storms these continue to work through we get a break mid-morning and then they flare up again as we head into the afternoon so tomorrow's not going to be the best of days plus our temperatures drop back into the 50s by the time we head into the afternoon so that's kind of what's going on uh let's see here let me see if anybody's even jumped on here and see oh yeah there's a lot of columns look at all that all right what is going on i kind of like youtube youtube is great um it archives everything i can see your comments very easy so it's uh it's pretty nice but as of right now just so you guys know we just have uh the one severe thunderstorm warning the southern parts of delaware county but everybody's going to get some pretty good storms as we go through the overnight hours tonight all right so let me i'm going to post this and knock out a blog i'm going to go home and then anybody who wants to have late night storm tracking we'll do that when i get home i'll do some streaming here